First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders and great millstone who will will and who has the 100% truth. This is for the hopeful elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth, that mingle within the other nations, that may live like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Hawa, He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Hawa Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are waiting for to come in these last days, and we are definitely in the last of the last days. Okay, as you see at the top of the screen, I have these visuals. I'm going to slow it down and just read a couple of items on these and get with the scriptures. Okay. Now, let's see. First, you see this. U.S. Women's Magazine shares advice on satanic orson ceremony. A ritual involves staring into a mirror and chanting, by my body, my blood, by my will, it is done. Yeah, that's witchcraft right there, you see. And that's what this place is about. It's full of, full of confusion. A, uh, Babylon, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. The bowl, that stands for confusion. And Babylon the Great, as with the ancient Babylon, they, they worship other gods. Okay? demigods. They also made themselves gods. And this place will be destroyed for others. Okay. Let me just go through these. And you got this one right here. Okay. Got this and also North Korea warns war a matter of time. Date is December the 4th. Okay, let's see. U.S. ally warns a swarm of Chinese ships. So, what you're basically seeing, you're seeing wars, rumors of wars, and all kind of mayhem going on. And this was said to happen in the last days. What was this? Okay, let me read a little bit of this. The Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, has dispatched two armed patrol vessels to watch over more than 100 Chinese boats that it said were swarming the disputed area around a small reef in the South China Sea. Okay, let's see. Most of the U.S. swing states vowed to abandon Biden. You see what's going on. This place is divided. It's full of confusion. They're going up against each other. Okay. This, this place is breaking down. It's tearing itself down from the inside out. But it's prophesied to do this because we are in the last of the last days. U.S. worship attacked. Pentagon. Yemen's Iran back. Houthi rebels claim responsibility for the incident, but did not acknowledge getting targeting an American vessel. Okay. U.S. House nearing vote on Biden impeachment inquiry speaker. Okay, you see what's happening. So the U.N. envoy attacked Soros over founding over funding Hamas groups. Well, didn't the same George Soros fund 
set up Ashley BLM. So that's what that's telling you. That's telling you that everything is getting set up for Jacob's trouble. That's what that's telling you. That's exactly what that's telling. And World War III, it's already going on, so it has to be hot. It has to get hot. U.S. Navy into sub Iranian drone in Persian Gulf. Pentagon. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna get this, this will be it. Ukraine's peacemaker database, which features supposed enemies of the state, has marked U.S. veteran diplomat Henry, Kitch Henry Kissinger as deceased. The former U.S. Secretary of State, who passed away on Wednesday, was added to the list in May 2022 for his alleged participation in Russia's information special operations against Ukraine. The online resources created back in 2014, described itself as a non-government center for research of elements of against the national security of Ukraine. Yeah, that's ironic. You see this place is destroying itself. The online resource created back in 2014 describes itself as a non-government center for research of elements of crimes against the national security of Ukraine, peace, humanity, and international law. Over the years, it has been implicated. Over the years, it has been implicated in multiple scandals, including the pu publishing of personal data of foreign journalists and other individuals deemed by peacemakers as enemies. According to the website, Kissinger has spread propaganda and also advocated the separation of Donst and Lugansk, as well as several southern regions from Ukraine. The former U.S. National Security Advisor was designated by a peacemaker as an accomplice to the Russian authorities, crimes against Ukraine and people. Okay? And that's, you know, the, you, know you got to understand that through these news articles and through filtering through the Holy Scriptures, we are at the end, okay? We are at the end. Okay? Now, we're going to start with, uh, let's see, Second Timothy. Okay. Second Timothy 3, and I'm going to make this short, 3 and 1 in the reads. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, okay? And perilous times be hard times, okay? Matter of fact, let me look that up right quick and it blew that into linear. Perilous times, or the word perilous, rather. Okay, think of that word perilous. Strong's G, 5467. Chalipas. 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 Yeah. Hard to do, to take, to, to approach, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, savage. Okay, these are, those are the times that, that we're coming into. We're getting ready to step into that. Okay, we're getting ready to step into this. Hard, perilous, evil, wicked times. Okay. There's no answer that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. You're seeing that. Okay, you're seeing kids going up against their parents, slaying them for, for, for a video game, not getting them a video game. Okay, they're disrespectful to their parents. Okay, <laughs> you see a lot of this going on now. They take, they put, they're, taking, they're putting their parents in the spirit world. Okay, you got little kids that's out here doing things they ought not to be doing, okay? And that's the, that's the fault of the adults because they have no wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They refuse to come back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Pahashim, Yahweh, so they, they, they won't repent. So therefore that judgment is hitting them and their seed, okay? 
So that's why you got all this judgment going on every single day. Turn on the news, listen to the radio, look outside your door, listen to the sirens, okay? Listen to the shots that's coming out of those pistols and those rifles, okay? You see this judgment going out, okay, every single day. And it's going out through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh because Jake refused to repent, okay? But we at the end of this day, okay? And it's that time for us to hope for elect. I say hope for elect because we haven't been saved out of here yet. On the contrary to what these uh, uh, plantation Christianity have to, has to taught our people to just say, okay, say from what, all right? Second Timothy three, and two, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, and unholy, without natural affection, truth fakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. And that's why they scoff at the apostles, elders, great millstone, teachers on down on the highways and byways, like minded accounts, teaching 100% truth as well. They scoff, they, 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 they constantly. Going at it with us, okay? It's judgment for that also. Because when that time comes, what you gonna do? Okay? You supposed to be the big bad wolf. What you gonna do when that time comes? What you gonna blow down? Okay? You got a two thirds. At least you repent. Second Timothy 3. And five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All these people scoffing. You got new new uh, people coming up trying to proclaim the word, but they're doing everything that's opposite other other holy scriptures. Okay, they're eating abominable foods. Okay, they 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 they, they, they still have their women on the forefront. They're not controlling them in the in the way that they're supposed to be controlled in order, okay, in order. You have uh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, you have Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. Under him would be the man, under the man would be the woman. Okay, and, under, and after that, the kids. Everything has an order. Without order, you have chaos, okay? You can't make, come up your own way. Okay, you can't do it. You got to go through Yahweh's side to get to the to, to in order to have your way back to the Holy Father Yahweh. And it goes on down. That's order. If you say you you, you, you know you you follow Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's side, you don't follow your husband. Well, you, then you're not in order. You're trying to come up your own way. Second Timothy three. And five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. How do you deny that power? You can know the name, but if you're not in the order, you're denying the power. From such turn away. Okay. Because, you know, we're coming into some evil times, okay? The two thirds is not going to make it. Okay, they're not set up to make it. Okay, they're not set up to make it. So you can't worry about them, family members, <coughs> your wives. You can't worry about them. <coughs> we have to worry about the job that we have to do for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh's side, because it, He showed us mercy and love, like giving us the eyes out to see the prophecies come to pass. So our job is to report on them and get a report. And how did you do that? Looking at the news, looking at the things that's going on around you. And, and diving into the Holy Scriptures and reporting on these things, okay? Because two thirds is not going to make it. Only his elect will. And that's our hope for salvation, okay? But you got Jake out here that's joining up with the oppressor because. And that's Jake, men and women, okay? 
joining up with the oppressor because they feel they have a better they have a better way to go. Okay, but that's not so. That's not so. Jeremiah too. Book of Prophet Jeremiah two. Thirty-three. You know, and basically, when they done that, they uh, sold their souls. Jeremiah two. And thirty-three. Let me highlight that right quick. And it reads, Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Now see, Jake, the soul, the soul got, and got with the oppressor. And by Jake doing that, he didn't taught Esau, Edom, which is the oppressor, the rich and elite banking families, the self proclaimed white man. He taught him an extra, some extra evil ways. Of how to do Jake. Because everybody knows that the world follows Jake, mainly Judah. So when Judah get up there, well, who do you see on the tube, on the TV? You see Jake. You see Judah, the head tribe. Wherever the head tribe do, Judah, all the other tribes are going to follow. Okay. That's how that's done in this evil queendom. But see, the two thirds is not going to make it, though. They're not going to make it. But the elect will. Right now, we the whole for elect on this side. And I said I wasn't going to make this long, so let me stop talking and get with it. Okay? But look, when Jake done this, you know, he said, I even learned a few tricks, okay? He learned a few new tricks, okay? But look, the most highest calling is his elect, 144,000. Okay, elect men and one third believers, men, women, and children. Okay, because when all these things come to the full, like Revelation thirteen sixteen, that's the karama. You take it. You don't. You got how many fellows you have by some house? That's going to destroy you. That's it. Revelation fourteen ninth verse on down. Okay, you've been warned. You've been warned. Okay, let's go to Habakkuk two. This is the book of Habakkuk. Second chapter. First verse, and it reads, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall ask him when I am reproved. Okay? And what he's he going to say to you is then through these scriptures, these holy scriptures, okay? But the Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you. Okay, the Rokakwadash has to be dealing with you. Okay? Verse 2, and the heavenly fellow Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, so I answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table, that he may run that read it. So when you see these things going on, you should be running. When you see the judgment that's coming, you should be running, okay? You should be running to do this work, you should be running to repent. And do this work, learn it and do this work. How you learn it? Watching, going to the videos, the other apostles, great minister on down, teachers on down, none of the breakdowns, doing the things that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by the Yahweh, side, practicing the righteous acts, not eating pork in the, sw in the pool of Coca Cola, not doing that, those things, but doing a Follow, doing a practicing a righteous act to the best of acts to the best of your abilities, keeping high holidays to the best of your abilities. Okay, not keeping your beard on your face, not shaving, not edging it up. Okay, killing off that old man every day. That's what we ought to be doing, and the heavenly father. Yahweh Bahash me house, I asked me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. It's not lying. These prophecies flying off 
the pages right now, okay? We had in a very short time, chariots are out there. Every day these chariots are out there. The chariots of the Yahweh, of Yahweh, Bahash of Yahweh, so who you people ignorantly call UFOs and UAPs. Everybody sees them. That's why this devil coming out. Revelation 12 and 12, he knows he got a sword tie because he see what's going on, okay? For the vision is yet for upon a time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. What's speaking now? These wars, rumors of wars, Russia, Ukraine, China, South China, see the things that's happening, the BRICS nations, what's going on in, 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 in the Middle East. I read all these things, okay, the Karatma, these things are speaking, the, they, they, these things are already happening, but the Karatma, they got to make it matter to it, Jacob's trouble, all of that is right here, we, we're getting ready to step into that, the thing is, you're going to be ready, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and life shall be the stability of thy time, are right, you going to be ready, for the vision is just one upon a time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tear away for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. But it say it will surely come. You see it. Okay. You see it. And how will you see it? We see it by redeeming the time. By watching what's going on around us. And around the world reporting on them through the holy scriptures. This is how we stay circumspect and prudent. Okay. Ephesians. Five. And sixteen. And it reads, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. NLT. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools. But like those who are wise. That's self-explanatory. You don't get caught out here not being circumspect because we are in some perilous times. These people don't, don't they don't like you in the first place because they, they, they're not in the brotherhood. Okay. The world hates the truth. So you got to watch and walk circumspect. You have your head on a 360 degree swivel. Okay. Spiritually and physically. See, then that you want circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeem me the time because the days are evil. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days in a righteous way. Being circumspect. Not running to do evil. Only deal with the wise counsel. A Yahweh Bahash and Yahweh Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh is. Okay? And this will is for you to do this work while circumspectly report on what's going on around you to the other believers. Okay? And with that, only the elect of Israel will make it out of here on this side, okay? Only the elect. The two thirds they're gonna make it. To get that, let's go to the book of Zechariah. Thirteen and eight, and it reads, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the heavenly Father Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Okay, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Heavenly Father Yahweh is my power. So the two thirds got to go, but we all got to go through Jacob's trouble. 
this is the final test. Again, we made it through the juicy juice. Now we got to get through the karatma. Because they're getting ready to push this NWO. Everything's all set up. It's in place. Think about that border. Who's crossing the border? Think about where you live at. Who's in your neighborhood? Okay. Think about martial law. Think about all these things in one. Think about famine of the word, famine of, of food, inflation. These things you have to think about. And also, remember Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay? But you got to fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. But first, let's get this Isaiah 33 and 6. Book of Prophet Isaiah 33 and the sixth verse. And it reads, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy ties, and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is his treasure. And that day he will be your sure foundation, providing a risk toward salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, will be your treasure. So if you don't fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by some Yahweh, so I, well, you're done. You don't fear him, you're going to continue to do the things that's against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by some Yahweh, so You're going to continue to eat that pork, okay, which is in a, a, a bathtub, a Coca-Cola. You're going to continue to do those things, which is an abomination. Okay? And it's going to kill you. But hey, you want to come up your way. Repent, Jake. Okay? Take a trouble, it's around the corner. It's around the corner. And the two thirds is not going to make it. Zechariah 13 and 8, okay? Jeremiah 13 and 7. Look at Jeremiah 30 and 7. And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved. Out of it. Who is the he? The he is the elect of Israel. The elect of Israel. Not all of Israel, only the elect on the side. Okay, Daniel 12. Look at Daniel 12. And one, because when Jacob's trouble comes, we don't have no armies. We don't have none of that. They have all the armies down here, but we don't. But what we do have is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the Archangel Angel Michael going to stand up for the elect. Okay. And in that time, so Michael stand up, the great prince. We're standing for the children of thy people. And they shall be, and there shall be a time of trouble. So that's never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Written in the book. The elect. You know you the other elect. And you've been being up in the chariots when that time comes. So when you Plantation Christian Christians that believe you already saved, and then you still eating pork, and then you you're based in Coca Cola, or whatever. That's you're not saved, okay. And many of them that sleep in the dust, other earth shall awake, son to everlasting life, son to shame and everlasting contempt, okay. Gonna be son, they're gonna be oh, awake. You know, the, the chapters of the dry bones. They're going to be awake. But so I'm going to come out of the truth. Go back to the congregation of the dead. And that time comes, they're going to wake up to shame. But the ones who endure to the end, the elect, guess what? You're going to be good. It's always order. Always in order. 
and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to the same and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn away turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, set up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. And we at the end right now. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. You see, and that's now, right now. This is how we know we're at the end. People are going around doing the same things, just like us in the days of Noah. Everybody walking around with a computer, a pocket computer, your cell phones. The technology is astronomical. Okay? It's astronomical. The different texts that they have out right now. Okay? few years back, I'm speaking because I'm an older, older uh, uh, brother. I remember, I remember I used to pay phones. I remember the dial phones. I remember the first cell phone was like a big garage door open. Okay. I remember the, the pages. I had one for the job. Beepers. But see, that was not too long ago. Now you got what, these TV, flat screen TV, everything has changed. And it's changing fast. We at the end of this thing. You got YouTube. I didn't have that. I used to go to the library, spend my days when I was younger. Okay. So this thing is not tearing. Habakkuk 2 and 3, and this would be the last scripture. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Do it tear away for it, because it will surely come. It will not tear, and it's not tearing. So with that, the one to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rokakudash, double honor to the apostles and others of the great millstone, we will with that, Shalom.